Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and welcome to episode 17 of the Choking oh. Hazard podcast where RDT isn't quite ready for the start but I just started the stream anyway. <laughs> <laughs> He's like a Ron McConnor headlights now. Oh no. <laughs> um, with my usual co-hosts, Sugar Free Nos. Howdy, howdy. And RDT, but more importantly, as the chat is pointing out already, the return of the whiteboard. Hello, who is it? Oh yeah, creativity. <laughs> <laughs> the whiteboard yeah. has returned i need to get some real markers though that's that's the problem yeah that, 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 that was, the reason, was the reason that you were that was the reason you were you were faffing on Ooh. at the start and weren't quite ready i just i, I had to start because you weren't ready but yeah you were yeah. you were trying to write things on and the, the pens weren't having it and but the whiteboard is back has are you gonna done. have this this is gonna be back every week now don't don't do this to us where you bring it back for one week and then the next thing we know it's gone again breaking in half right after this episode please <laughs> just please. destroying it. begging you now all we need is a hat that's a fair point if all, all we need is a hat and we're back to Bye. back to the Bye. glory days of episode one oh, no. the glory days <laughs> peer <laughs> pressure there, there it go. is there it is Episode one, glory days. We're back. We'll uh, we'll wear it like this. See how long it stays up here. So, uh, this is yeah. This is hell right now. This, it's like a balancing act. The whole episode. So. Speaking of glory Plus, days, I got my hair back. I, I was just I was just about to say that episode one was probably our most watched episode, but no longer. No yeah, more. We, we had a yeah. We, episode we, sixteen you know. is now sitting at just under fourteen thousand views, which is. The highest for any of these podcasts so far. Uh, well, the last episode. A little, little bit of, little bit of GTA complaining, a little bit of clickbait, and you just you know you you stir it up, <laughs> and then you got yourself a good podcast. It you know, was a good nice. podcast that one though. I, three I weeks yeah, it was later. it was all right. I'll, I'll... <laughs> yes, yeah, three weeks ago. There the reason go. that it has been such a prolonged period is blame RDT for that one. It was his fault. He had to work. And the bad news is, is that he has to work for the next two Fridays, so it's going to be three weeks for the next one as well. And then by the time we come on to do the next podcast after that, I am going to be flying back to the UK on that Friday, so it's going to be three weeks before that podcast. So the next few so podcasts are all going, to be, all going to be three weeks blame, apart. Blame Sorry. Don't blame me. Addy T is the cause of two of them. Oh, well, okay, we can blame everybody, all right? Because I, <laughs> I, I had one before, so... yeah. Yeah, I, I've had Dude, many. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, look, it, does, it doesn't fit the other way, so we're gonna wear it like this. I, I like how we're, we're back to back to normality. Like people have, may have watched episode sixteen and thought, "Oh, this is a good podcast. This this really had some really good yeah, points. It was really insightful. Garbage. I really want to. I'm gonna watch you in again." And then it comes to episode seventeen, and it's what yeah, we is have this? a whiteboard that says, "What up, boy." And, <laughs> And we got baby face over here in a sideways cowboy hat. So. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty Replace good. everybody in this podcast, says Wonder Sniff. People are saying remove RDT, but I'm so important that they wouldn't even do the podcast without me. I told them, go ahead. Go no, ahead. Not, we can't do a podcast without, without one of us three. It's not, and it I've been it accused. Be it would feel of, wrong. I've been accused on the last episode of acting like I can't be asked the entire time. And then just... You know, whatever, whatever, man. You know, people are entitled to their opinions. <laughs> oh, yeah, the comments. You got your first bit of hate on the last episode, right? Yeah, you, finally, you, you RDT it. gets hate. I've been yeah. getting hate from, like, day one. It's like, <laughs> I mean, finally, RDT gets some. I was so... Oh, I was pumped up to see that. Oh, that <laughs> you were talking static. about it in the MCC commentary the week after. You, 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 you enjoyed it. I love it. I want more people to talk shit don't say that me. because if they, that's gonna that's gonna just have a rain of comments all about <laughs> you and how bad you are and pointing out every single little flaw that you have don't give the internet this chance <laughs> yeah i won't give the fourteen thousand max people <laughs> um before, right, hold so, on. before we get to topics okay. rdt may i see your shirt i just see tattooed mom on it can we, can we <laughs> yeah, see that? that's I'm it's just... the name of a bar in <laughs> Philly. Really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Chubby has a, broadca- a podcast brought to you by the, the Tattooed, Tattooed Mom. Mom Bar, the corner of 31st <laughs> and 7th Street. Avenue in Jersey. Yeah. South Street, Philadelphia. There you go. <laughs> or Philadelphia, sorry. 
Oh, yeah, that's a good point to see Wilson says uh, a moment for, for MB Hammer. A few people are asking who that voice was coming in the, the last one. If they, they, Obviously, people who aren't frequenting the podcast may hear this voice in the background every once in a while, and it's like, who is that? And that's MB Hammer. He was our guest in episode two, and ever since episode two, he has been our podcast producer, if you like. He, he helps us with the running of the podcast behind the scenes keeps things going sorts out the the, the calling and stuff like that and he's Let's not here this week this is the first time yeah yeah, yeah. good job yeah. this is the first rest, time rest that he's not here the first time this week that he's not here so Listen, right. Listen, He's kind of here. From an undisclosed location. <laughs> He's with a terrible, live. With a terrible <laughs> microphone quality on his phone. <laughs> so he's here, he's here kind of, and he's here in spirit because he's still done some back-end <laughs> work to help us get this done. So he, he's he, he's still here, just not 100%. Rip yeah. phone bank. No, we'll figure out the phone. How yeah, are we going to we'll do the phone I'll bank? I'll probably do it. You're going to do the phone bank, it. okay. Yeah. That's going to go well. I mean, it'll go fine. It'll be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so the topics we're going to talk about today, um, Red Dead Redemption 2, because yes, the trailer was, was just it. released a few days ago. Was it yesterday? It was yesterday, right? Yes, it was yesterday. Yesterday for when we are recording this on Friday, but a few days ago for those people who are watching this on YouTube. Um which will be interesting because since I've never played Red Dead Redemption, the original one, and you guys have, and, and, yeah, you Wait, guys you love it, so you can tell me how bad I am for that. Um, we'll talk a little. <laughs> we've, like we've spoken about this. <laughs> yeah, probably. I think so. Um, we, we'll talk a little bit about the recent week of streaming that I've had, how that went. Um, the Bruffy's Racing Corner is going to make its return because it's been, Uh-oh. it's been. <laughs> I put a link in the chat for you to watch. Did Did you not watch it? It was 3 a.m. All right, it was 3 (laughs) a.m. It's like like a minute and a half long. Listen, I did catch... I think I caught what happened because I actually watched the physical, like, end of the race, like the last 10 laps or so. But so. the, that the 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 thing that I was trying to to link you was the very start of of the race. Ah, yeah. Well, I saw like a replay of it. That's what I'm trying we'll to say. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it during the race. Well, Maybe you'll have to up. watch it. Thank you. It'll be fine. Well, you do I, a I, just got, I just got uh, delivered uh, tea and ah. uh, drink as well, so that, that's nice. Must be nice. Thank you. Orange. It's orange. Our orange, orange X Gamer as well. Thank you. <laughs> All right, sorry. <laughs> I, 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 um... So yeah, this is this is gonna go well, isn't it? The one time that I actually pe- give some preparation for people for the racing corner. Hold on, let me see what time it was that you linked this to me. Well, that's okay. no excuse. Also, everyone watched it four thirty-three a.m. Look, I saw that. I was like, it's too early for Formula One. I'm going back to bed. That's what you, I, that's you, exactly you do what realize I mean. that you could have just watched it on, in the morning. In the morning. Look, listen. Yeah. The more I don't, I'm not awake in the mornings. I don't wake up for noon for anything or anybody. <sighs> All right. Anyway, Red Dead Redemption Two. The trailer has just been released. The second trailer. The second trailer. Okay. Morgan. The second one, to be specific. Since I don't really know anything about Red Dead Redemption, I'm going to defer to you guys first. What What did you make of the trailer? Oh, that was great. Yeah, I liked it. It was very. It Go ahead. It didn't Sorry. show so much, but it introduced you to a few characters. Yeah, it showed you enough you... for the for now. Yeah, I think. gave you a, gave me a good good feeling. No, it's just it got me hyped. I'm not gonna say I'm as hyped. I might it might be because I'm older and wiser, but <laughs> but uh. Well, after um, after the, same, the last podcast, I, you, you, you can understand the reservation. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> it didn't give me the same hyped feeling that I got, like when the GTA Five trailer dropped with Michael doing the voiceover. I didn't get that same kind of like, "Whoa, this is an event." Uh, I don't know, but I'm is still that, super. Is super that excited. because it's not GTA, or just the the style of it? Like, if, if you could you have seen yourself being as hyped for Red Dead Redemption Two as you were for GTA Five, 
Or is it just because it's a different type of game? Oh, yeah, with that. Uh, Red Dead Redemption's probably top three, maybe number one favorite game of all time. Oh, wow. That okay. goes for me as well. Yeah. Other than See, Gold you, 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 Gold you, kind of a legend status. Both of you have always spoken very, very highly of Red Dead Redemption. It's an excellent game. It's an, I, it is I, excellent. For me, I've never played it because I, I, don't, I don't... I think stuff like games and things and, and movies and all that kind of stuff that's more set in the past... Uh, it doesn't appeal to me as much as the sci-fi type stuff that's set in the future. Well, so, but... you're wrong. Change it, <laughs> Just you need. Well, to, you my need opinions are wrong. All of yes. them. Well, well, no, I... you're... no. If you said Red Dead was bad, then your opinion would be wrong. But like, you got to go play it. Yeah, I do yeah. need to play it uh, because it, it it seems like from what I've seen from the general, even just that's even true, GTA though. community, what? That's not even true though. Kind of, I, I mean, I guess you have a cutoff point because Vice City is your favorite GTA, isn't it? Yeah, but I mean, that, that that's not, I mean, like, far, far past. In, in, going you know, into new games. Like, like, he's horses like, like what's your cutoff? And, um, like, the Roaring Twenties? <laughs> I don't even you know. know. You, you go play The Godfather on PS2. That's Godfather's a, a great game. I've never played that. Maybe, maybe, maybe like the 50s game, or something would be the cutoff. But no, I know okay. I, it was it was just a general thing that I like sci-fi future stuff more than I like old timey horses past stuff. Yeah, well, but, sometimes you have to put all that aside and just do it. Yeah, because yeah. everyone else says it's great. Like, uh, like for instance, everyone was telling me to watch Initial D, which, if you don't know, is a Japanese animated. Uh, <sighs> Yeah, I know. Look, listen, I was like, I'm no weeb. I'm not watching this. <laughs> and then I watched it, and it's fantastic because other people told me to. You had to put that aside. And, yeah, and just I should do probably other watch that you. as well. Yes, you should watch Initial D. <laughs> <laughs> but it seems like the, the, the general GTA community, like the things that I've seen on Twitter and all that kind of stuff, it, it seems like they're very, very, very hyped about Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, significantly so. More than I really expected and it seems like the the original game, not just from you two, but the majority of people who are fans of Rockstar's games and even GTA, uh, are all uh, revere the original Red Dead. Like, just such a brilliant game. Well, so I obviously need to play it. And, and yeah. What? Or do you mean Red Dead Redemption, the original Redemption? Red Dead Redemption, sorry, not Red Dead yeah. Revolver, the first one. Yeah, we'll get on to that later. Yeah. We'll yeah. talk a little bit about that because <laughs> I know myself and RDT like that game too. And it's a com- the amazing thing about it is it's such a different game from Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. It is so different. The yeah. priorities are on complete opposite spectrums. Well, the, well, the, look at t- let's just let's talk about the whole series for a minute. Then we've got time. It's, it's yeah, like yeah. a two and a half hour <laughs> yeah, thing. We... So, <laughs> um, so, so for those that don't know. Red Dead Redemption was not the first Red Dead game, believe it or not, considering how everyone doesn't even know that Red Dead Revolver exists. Uh, Red Dead Revolver was a game that was pub that was uh, being made by a like a subsidiary of Capcom or something like a uh, like a company that was under Capcom's umbrella, I believe, at some point, and then Rockstar bought that team out, and they got Red Dead Revolver with it. And at the time, Red Dead Revolver before rockstar got it was a very uh like it was even more arcadey than it is now oh Uh, yeah it was it was was much far on the more like arcade stuff uh and then red dead revolver got into the hands of rockstar and they changed it and it's still an arcade third person shooter it's a level based arcade third person shooter and it's still a lot of fun it's it's a great time I've played yeah. it recently, and I'd say it holds up, honestly. I mean, it's still old. It's a noticeably old game, but it holds up, and it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, Revolver, to me, was along the same lines as, uh, like, a GoldenEye or any of the other James Bond. You know, you get your friends together, you go in arena-based kind of Yeah, the multiplayer all. was great, too. You, yeah, you picked your character, and you fought your friends, picking up weapons along the line. Uh, so, at what point was Red Dead Revolver in? Like, when did that come out? When was it released? Yeah, in terms of, I'm just thinking in oh, terms of like the, the the you know the, the old GTA games and was it after the 3D era before four? Or was it before then? 2004. Or? It was 2004. Okay. That it came out. Okay. So it was that would have been around the time. Now it'd been after Vice City, wouldn't it? 
You're on San Andreas, after, wasn't it? Yeah, that's around San Andreas. No, time, San, right? San Andreas San came Andreas out in 2005, was... I think. Yeah, so between Vice City and San Andreas. Well, like there's that. that was that there's that chart, isn't there, where it shows all of Rockstar's games up to 2013, and then they've released nothing since GTA Online. Um, but <laughs> with, with it, there's always it always seemed like there was at least one game every year, so it makes sense that you know there'd be it'd be in between Vice City and San Andreas. So. But something that we'll come on to uh, is that you can always seem to tell what is going to be in the next GTA game from red dead and they, they all the games take bits from each other and as they move on so we'll, we'll come yeah, on to that later because the they all that. run on the same engine yeah so it makes a lot of sense like there's a lot there's some props and stuff in gta 5 and some textures and other things that were used in red dead so yeah. i mean it just makes sense if it's all on the same engine you can reuse it reuse it I don't know why it always makes me so angry when you say things like that, bro. You, what, you've you've said that sentence multiple times. Which one? Where it's like, where it's like uh, the next game built <laughs> off his, of that's what... his trigger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is that, <laughs> that does seem to be Adity's trigger. It, but... is, it gets me so upset. But and that's not like, always yeah. the case. Like you know, the, 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 I'm talking specifics. Like the, the I think the weapon wheel that was in GTA 4 was first developed in Max Payne three or something like that. Like. like they actually take exact nah. parts of, or maybe uh, something relating Max to that. Payne anyway, three came out in two thousand twelve. Okay, and well, it might have been something different, like, uh, something, something to do with maybe I don't know, Red Dead Redemption or Max and Payne GTA or something. GTA four maybe. didn't have a weapon wheel. No, it didn't. Well, maybe so. it's the other way then. So, G- so the weapon wheel from Max Payne three was yeah. then improved for GTA Red five. Dead. That's the way that yeah. I'm going. Yeah. There okay. we go. We've, that, we've that, there we go. In. But we found it. <laughs> I'm talking about like little specifics like that. They do take specific things. It's not just anyway. Yeah, sure. make Carry on. Red Dead it. Revolver. <laughs> it's like when we talked about this during the nostalgia episode. Tony Hawk games. You originally couldn't revert or even manual. I don't think at some point. I don't know, but they I keep adding know. things into it that mm-hmm. allow you allow the game to flow better and that's... yeah but those are the same type of games it's still tony hawk skateboarding game whereas you know you've got the midnight clubs the max pain the the red dead redemptions all feeding into gta in different ways that you wouldn't necessarily think it's not just sequel after sequel after sequel that was the what i was trying to get to but yep <laughs> <laughs> anyway so red dead revolver is a uh, is a good experience still to this day albeit dated uh i'd recommend if you have a if you have a good enough pc in fact you don't really need a good pc if you want to play it like ps2 settings download pcsx2 and uh and you know legally acquire a copy of red dead revolver and play it i played it recently uh on stream self-promotion if you want to go back and watch it it was a good time fun very fun so i'd recommend it um anyway, what about so so that was red dead revolver how long was it until Red Dead Redemption came out? Two thousand nine. At least, uh, yeah. Okay. Two thousand nine, so that's five years. And this was after GTA four. So the year after GTA four. Yes. Was it the year? Yes. I believe Might. so. Yeah. So then Red Dead. Yeah. So then Red Dead introduced the weapon wheel and then Max Payne took it? I believe so. Okay, there we go. I mean not that not that weapon wheels were some kind of like you know, yeah, revolutionary not, idea. Not no, yeah. no, of course. <laughs> it was just an example of, of many post- different things. Anyway, <laughs> 2010. Um, Red, you're you're just off by a year out here, sugar free. I know, sugar free. I mean, what the hell? I've never. I know. So the the Red Dead Redemption. When did you guys play? Did you play it as soon as it came out, or have you played it? I played later? it at release. Yeah, Redemption. I, yeah, I, I, that was one of the most hyped games. Ever. I was never in it that hype. I don't know why. Because oh, you don't yeah. like cowboys. You like spaceships. Yeah, probably. You yeah, pew, probably. Pew, laser guns. You don't care. <laughs> that's, that's all you care about. I, I mean, you're not wrong. My GameCube and all my GameCube games to get Red Dead Redemption. Oh, really? And I really regret it now. But I actually <laughs> kind of don't regret it. Because that well, if game... that was the only way you could experience that game at that time, you shouldn't regret it. I don't. <laughs> So what what's the appeal of it? What what it what is it about Red Dead Redemption that makes it so good? You know, well, explain American. it to me as someone who it, it, th- those kind of games don't appeal to me, and I've never played it. 
What is it that makes it so good, and why should I? Who's, play go, it? who's going to do this, RDT? Me or you? Or both? Uh, well, I'll let you do the 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 more lore side of things, because to me, it's the story, the story and gameplay. Yeah, are, it's are just the, fabulous. The way the, it's such a well crafted story with such great characters, and that's really what makes Red Dead Red Dead. I mean, the gameplay is fantastic. The shooting mechanics are. While, in my opinion, not like as, as good as Max Payne 3, are still very good and much better than GTA has ever been, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely their second best game in terms of combat and how combat is done. Um, but And the gameplay mechanics are nice. The, the challenges and all the extra stuff you can do just in free roam are fun and nice and they don't feel grindy. They stop before they get to the point where they're a grind. And like I said, it, it, the story is the main part. Like, if if I were to recommend you play it, you could probably finish it in, you know, three streams if you just mainline the story and do nothing mm -hmm. else. And yeah. even if you were to just do that, you would be getting an excellent, excellent yeah. Red Dead experience. And if I want to uh, make this more relatable to you, Bruff, to me at least, the story is very Shakespearean. Okay. It's just, you know, it's oh. it's kind of... <laughs> this guy... I don't even know why I said that. That just makes no sense. But it's a it's a road to redemption. <laughs> okay. I was just trying to shoehorn because it's Hence so the American. Count, yeah. Like the Wild West is such an American concept that to to us we glamorize it. You know, Clint Eastwood is out there, the man with no name, yeah. shooting Mexicans with his six shooter and his lynching rope, and <laughs> it, it it's it's just something that. American people have always just glamorized is that wild west mentality. Hmm. And so it, having a game where you can be that character is kind of awesome. Okay. Yeah. But, but considering you don't, that that's not your interest because you're a filthy European. Um, <laughs> well, not anymore. Um, <laughs> you, you just got to You got to play the game for the characters. You have to get in there uh, on the information that every single other human being on the planet that's ever played this game has told you this game has excellent characters. I mean, you're a fan of the yeah. Mass Effect series. You know mm. all about excellent characters. Mm. And Red Dead Redemption is one of those with just excellent characters mm. and and a great story. To be honest, my, my I feel like my gaming needs or, or enjoyment has swung a lot more since I started playing Mass Effect all the way back in whenever it was 2008 I've 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 definitely started to enjoy a lot more story driven games probably more than multiplayer stuff just because I feel I, I want to be immersed and in, in entertained in a story oh, it's, I'm it's not as bothered world. about the actual gameplay so if you know if Red Dead Redemption does have such a good story as you're saying then yeah, it is going to appeal to me, even if it's not necessarily in the setting that I would expect to be, that I would want, you know, as an ideal game. But, I mean, I'm going to play it. I'm definitely going to play it. We've got till spring 2018 until Red Dead Redemption 2 yeah. comes out. So I'm going to play Red Dead Redemption. If you do before. play it, I would advise playing it on Xbox One with backwards compatibility because it run the Xbox 360 version. The game's a mess, technical wise, I think, or at least that's what everybody says. Uh -huh. um, the Xbox 360 version ran at 720p, I believe, or no, may maybe it's the other way around. Like I think maybe it ran at 1080p native on 360, and then like 900 on PS3. And I played the PS3 version. Uh, via ps now back uh, uh it was a couple months it was a while ago when i did my 100 percent week playthrough thing uh, -huh. uh it's on my channel self-promotion um <laughs> go back and watch it um <laughs> but i would definitely recommend uh xbox one uh okay. for playing it it'd be much better since you have wow. both options available somebody Wait, sound not, like it's... that for me it's, it's the only Somebody's time saying, that I will ever Somebody's recommend it. Like I know, yeah, Jesus. <laughs> RDT is well, like, what? What just happened? Well, the problem is the Xbox One actually went and did full-fledged backwards compatibility. Yeah, emulation. how it should be done. Yeah. PS3 just decided to shove all the PS3s in a closet and then let you play on them, basically. <laughs> that's that's how they decided to do things, and it's kind of trash. There's um, a lot of input lag. It's a pretty bad experience on that part. 
what about it's not it's not PC, right? Red Dead, even it, the original no. Red Dead Redemption hasn't even made its way to PC. No, no. Red Dead and Redemption. It, it, is... Red Dead Redemption Two has only been announced for a uh, console, so that's not going to be a problem for RDT, uh, and that's not going to be a problem for me. But Nos, you are vehemently PC master race only and whatnot. So, what are you yeah. actually going to do for Red Dead Redemption Two? Well, first, I'm going to sob into a pillow. For <laughs> <laughs> and then, I mean, if it was still just me, like I didn't have a, a stream to think about or anything like that, there is, I would just sit and wait, honestly, and just hope it comes to PC. You but would the fact, for a game that you revere as one of your favorite all-time favorite games. You wouldn't. You would feel like yes. you could wait and uh, not play it straight away. Yes, I don't know about that. As it got closer, as the hype started to build, I'm not sure. I the I would not. But I would not pay four hundred dollars for a system for one game. Four hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I'd get a PS4 Pro. I mean, just a PS4 Pro and pray to the gods that it's a stable thirty, even on that. <laughs> Basically, because that, that was a lot of grass. Let me tell you, I'm a PC <laughs> gamer and I know about grass. Yeah. That was a lot of grass in that trailer, and that scares me. <laughs> um, but. Yeah, I'll probably pick up a PS4 Pro. If, if I'm in a financial situation where I can make that happen, I'll probably pick one up, especially since I've got the streaming PC now and the capture card. You know, I can stream it, so... Yeah. Uh, I, and I'd you're probably... going to... Obviously, they, they've... It seems like they've uh, teamed up with PlayStation, so there's exclusive timed exclusive yeah, content. Always, and, you know, it's always that garbage. It's, yeah. it's bull. It is bull. It's stupid. I don't know yeah. why we can't just have games released on all platforms, them all be cross-platform with each other for when it comes to multiplayer. And because doofuses everyone can like have me will buy experience. a game 14 different times for every system, that's why. Well, yeah, I've bought GTA 5 for every single... I've bought it five times now, so I guess it's worked. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but I wouldn't have done that if I hadn't have been for streaming, I suppose. So, um, But, I mean, what did you make of the trailer, though? Like, you know, is it... Is I it talk about the trailer. We, you, 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 because to me, as someone who has never played Red Dead Redemption, I looked at it and I thought, you know, it, it seems like it's going to be a story. That's a video be, game. That's a video game. It's a game. <laughs> it's yeah. That, that was that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I thought. And that's that's a video game. It doesn't seem you know majorly jaw dropping or inspiring to me. It's just it's a game. I'm sure it'll have a good story. Hopefully. And I didn't see any more than that from the trailer. Is this something you saw as someone who's been, you know, two guys who really love Red Dead Redemption? Well, I have watched a couple breakdowns and... Did you watch the breakdown by GTA, man? Nah. Oh, I didn't either, so, okay. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Sorry, GTA, you. man. Um... <laughs> But <laughs> go watch this breakdown if you want to see a breakdown yeah, of the trailer. I can't, I can't talk to the quality, yeah, but go watch it. <laughs> um, it's people have pointed out that it's going to be a prequel almost because you bring back characters that were in Red Dead Redemption, and yeah, to me, prequel. that is awesome. Yes, that we get to delve deeper into kind of the history of some of the main characters from Red Dead Redemption One. So. See, I, I sometimes prequels get somewhat of a bad rep because, you know, it, it, it's as if it's like a half-hearted thing to actually go back and, and just you reuse the same characters in different scenarios rather than creating new characters on new experiences and new stories and things. But That's it seems like... where the difference is for this one, though, mm. which I'm sure you're about to just say, but is that... This isn't a prequel to the main character yeah. from Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. It's a prequel we're, to the game that the main character more, so. of Red Dead Redemption yeah. used to be in. Right. Okay. So it, it's 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 set before Red Dead Redemption, but it's not necessarily focused on any of the people who are in yeah. Red Dead Redemption. We don't even have. We, it's not even really confirmed that Marston is a part of the game yet. I yeah. mean, there's that yeah. one poster, and people speculate the guy on the far left. Oh, that looks like Marston. Uh, in which I would agree with him, but we don't know yet. You know, yeah. we're playing an all-new character. So, and and what I think is going to make this game what it is is not even the main character. The main character looks pretty good, but mm -hmm. interacting and learning more about Dutch is going yeah. to be the most important part of this game. And and, and I'll try to speak to this without spoilers uh, for you, Bruff. But um, 
Dutch is uh, an antagonist of the of the game, of the of the uh, first of the game. Oh, okay. Yes. So, um, this I, I, a brief synopsis of the story. You learn this at the very beginning of Red Dead Redemption is that you've got to go and and capture your old gang mates, and you've got several of them. John, or Marston has to go capture them. Yeah. And Dutch You're working for the government for your freedom. Basically. Yeah. Okay. And Dutch Vanderlyn was the leader of the gang that Marston, the main character of Red Dead Redemption, used to be in. And now we're going back. It'll be earlier. And Dutch will be a very central character because he's the leader of the gang. Right. And he, yeah. is, he is such an excellent character. But even the limited time that he had in Red Dead Redemption, that, that's a bit of a spoiler, um, it, he's just an excellent character. And that's what's going to make this game, I think, is okay. Dutch. So you have you have a high hope still for Red Dead Redemption Two that it's going to be on the same level as the original game, if not better. Do you think it can be as good? I mean, there's I not going to be. Well, that's probably it. Eh, it's not that big of a spoiler because there's going to be no Jack. That, that immediately makes it better. <laughs> yes. No, no. No Jack Marston makes everything better. Okay. Yeah. That whining that means nothing to kid. me. Um, yeah, it doesn't mean anything to you. <laughs> but because I don't, we, we've talked about this before, that I think all of us universally feel the same way about GTA V story is one of the weakest for the yeah. GTA oh, yeah. series. And I, I don't know whether they're going to try and bring in the multiple protagonists from GTA 5 oh, into God, Red Dead 2. No. Stop, don't um, even talk about it. I don't, want to, <laughs> I don't want to even think about that. But do you think there is potential there based on how GTA has gone and how GTA 5 was in comparison to the older games that it is possible that Red Dead Redemption 2 won't be as good? Oh, it's possible. But look, you look if uh, you, you've got to find hope somewhere in this bleak <laughs> and dreadful world. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> I think the only thing that would possibly make it a bad game is if they tried to bring microtransactions into single player and made them kind of almost mandatory like they do in GTA Online. But Yeah, you know, I knew horse skins. Like you can get a you can get the the chestnut bay for four ninety nine. <laughs> or, or you you can get a black leather saddle for twelve ninety nine. You know, <laughs> you know, or something like that. Well, Buy your that, that, bonds today. You know? I mean, I guess that is the next thing. You know, I, I don't know really too much about Red Dead Redemption's online. Um, but, I know a lot about it. Well, is there is there a possibility? Do you think that GTA Online's business model could be copied over to that? I think it's almost a guarantee. Yeah. Is that going to ruin the experience as Red Dead diehard fans? It possibly could. But again, hope, you hope. know, hope. as long as it doesn't affect the single player. Yeah, well, Red Dead Redemption's multiplayer was the best multiplayer experience that Rockstar has ever produced. Um, and it's a shame you can't go back and experience it in its full glory because it's just hacked to hell um, with people with nonsense. Um, but is by far the best multiplayer they've got. The, the sense of progression that you had in red dead redemption's multiplayer coupled with how unimportant said progression was to actually doing what you wanted to do this is was true. amazing because if you any weapon that you wanted besides that you could get every weapon at a gang hideout in the game in multiplayer except the rolling block rifle which was the best sniper rifle in the game and you got that early at level 20 so if you wanted to get on, you could immediately get on, and if you were into PvP in free mode or whatever, uh, you could get on. And this is what I would do, because you had uh, you could prestige in the game, right? You had legendary mode, mm -hmm. and you could reset your level and do it again, and you do that five times. Uh, each time I did that, I'd get on. You go to Tumbleweed, get a bolt action, and you go to Fort Mercer, and I got a Lamat, and I'm good. That's all <laughs> I need. That's, that's, that's it. And then you can just grind gang hideouts if that was your thing. Or, you know, mess around in free mode. Or do the gang shootouts were a lot of fun. PvP was a good time. Even with uh, with auto lock. Which is a an amazing feat. To make a game with auto aim. 
fun and sh and somewhat challenging to play. Yeah, um, I, I think PvP was better in Red Dead because of the lack of assault rifles, because there were none. No, in, well, in there time. was your pocket assault rifle. You had your Mauser and your high power. Yeah, and I, well, since that... it's 1890, we won't have none of that garbage anymore. So <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty excited. No Mauser. So you really had to pick where you're shooting. Other, you can either yeah, go exactly. straight for the center of mass, or you can mm -hmm. take your time and try to pop up a shot right into the dome. Yeah, but... which is what most good people did. Mm -hmm. um, so it was anyway. kind of it was kind of the a good multiplayer experience before we started to see the microtransactions come into the entirety of gaming. Really, yeah. Okay. Well, 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 we'll have to wait and see. We don't know anything about Red Dead Redemption Two's multiplayer or anything about it. It 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 does strike me as strange that the original Red Dead Redemption hasn't come to PC yet, and it, it it's yeah, it never will. Well, it, but we'll get to play it in about ten years when our CPCS three, whatever that acronym is, the PS three emulator. Once they get that, right. uh, once they get that uh, working on Red Dead, we'll be able to play it. So give it ten years. We'll have. Well, it what PC. do you think the chances are of seeing Red Dead Redemption two on PC? Since the original wasn't high, on, high, I think. Okay. High, considering how how much they sold GTA Five on PC. Mm. Uh, I mean, even if Rockstar has a seething hatred for the PC platform, all those executives see your money, <laughs> and if they and if they see a platform there that possibly sold most like the most GTA copies uh, individually, which I don't think it was, it's was probably one of the old gen, but like it was a substantial income from pc yeah. why would they not why I wonder would the if, executives um, not fo uh, force them i wonder if we'll see a switch version a watered down switch version <laughs> <laughs> i hope so <laughs> um okay so i, I mean I, i'm gonna play the original red dead it's spring 2018. We don't have an official release date for Red Dead Redemption 2. They'll get, it'll get delayed again. I expect that game to come out in November of next year. You think? Absolutely. Well, it, I, that's what I was going to say. It's already been a year later than it, it, it was meant to be. It was meant to be out midway through 2017, right? Uh, and yeah. they delayed it, and now it's going to be midway through 2018. That's I've said it before that I still think that it's to do with GTA Online's success. It, 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 do you think that Red think. Dead is going to have any kind of impact on GTA? No, I I don't think that for every guy that says like, man, Red Dead Redemption Two is going to be the best ever, <laughs> you've got like five that are like, I don't want to play a cowboy game like you. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I don't think the market for Red Dead Redemption Two is going to be as wide yeah. and vast. There's no, as there's no Auto. jets and and ridiculous vehicles that cost millions of dollars and supercars and yeah. things in Red there's Dead. There's horses Redemption. and cult single action armies, and yeah. that doesn't. Yeah. not everybody likes those. Yeah. I think the difference is that children aren't going to want Red Dead as much as they would want Grand Theft Auto. It doesn't have that same mystique. That yeah. game like Grand Theft yeah. Auto. Oh man, they're getting sued for this. See, yeah. like like Ovivo in chat. I wish they would have put the effort to GTA Six instead. You're wrong. <laughs> You're kicked from U Tool. I don't care how good you are, <laughs> MCC. Kicked from the team. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it it does beg the question of of how long it's gonna be until a GTA successor. It, it could be twenty twenty four five years. It could be a long time. I think I think as long as GT Online keeps going, Red Dead Redemption allows the people who are working at Rockstar who actually because people have jobs at Rockstar to create story driven experiences, to write games and, and program single player experiences. They they don't just not have a job when GTA five is released, for example. So they've been working on Red Dead Redemption two for for a while now. Maybe there's some other games in the pipeline, but it, it seems like the the diff distance between the games is just so huge now that I don't know. I don't see. I don't know when we're ever going to be seeing another a GTA. Depends on the success of Red Dead Redemption Two, I would say. Yeah. If it doesn't hit quotas, then they'll roll out GTA Six. Yeah. Way earlier than four years. Well, almost five years at that point. I wonder if I wonder if um, 
I wonder if Red Dead Redemption 2's how successful it is will dictate how much of a focus the next GTA has on a story-driven experience and how much of a focus it has on an online experience. Uh, because I if don't people know. if people aren't buying Red Dead and, and aren't getting involved in loving the story, it costs a lot to make a game and Rockstar found the way to break in money is GTA Online, which requires a lot less effort to make new cars maybe maybe gta 5 will be the last full story driven game of its kind in G- the gta series depending on how yeah. red dead does i think they have a little bit of integrity do you think and yeah i <sighs> what <laughs> I'm saying Rockstar has integrity and they know why people buy their games. Yeah, you would hope so. You well, would hope so. It's hard to believe it with the way that matter. their business practices are with online, but you have to believe that there are some people still there. But then Leslie Benzies left the company. Maybe that was because they were wanting to completely change direction with with what they're doing and and take the focus away from what they've always previously been doing. You just don't know the reasons behind it, I suppose, but... I hope so. I hope that... Yeah, I, I'm hopeful for the game. I I, I think it will be a, a good... Either way, you're getting a good experience. I mean, GTA V, for all its faults, and even though it's one of the worst GTA stories, it was still a good experience. I still had fun. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's true. I can, yeah. I can sit here and pick it apart all day and tell you why it's inferior to every single other GTA that's ever been made, and exactly what's wrong with it. But at the end of the day, I still had a good time my first playthrough. And even my second playthrough when I 100%ed it, um, again, on PC, was still a good time. I still had an alright time. Yeah. Um, so, either way, you're getting a quality game. Will it be up to Red Dead Redemption standards? I don't know. We'll just have to see. But I'm, I'm hopeful. Okay, well, it's still a, quite a way out. We got yeah, a long sure. time to wait, and I'm sure they're gonna yeah, uh, build up that hype train as much as possible. Um, I mean, I, I hope I'm not the only one that hopes that there's a bully too in the works somewhere. Oh, you're not. Yeah. Don't worry. Well, I, no, I've seen. Well, I've while seen you're le- waiting, go ahead. Well, uh, well I've seen right. leaks for uh, a new Midnight Club as well that they might be working on. Who cares? Midnight Club was Give great. Give me that Rockstar Table Tennis 2. <laughs> Baby. That's Maybe that's what they're going to do. They're going to release, go back to releasing a different game every year in a run-up to whatever the next GT is. Maybe. Well, nice. I mean, we, while you're waiting for Bully 2, you could always play the remaster that no one asked for and no one wanted, the LA Noir remaster for consoles. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I think I'm just going to play the original. Yeah, play the original on PC. I'd... I'd I'd say it probably will look better than whatever <laughs> versions on the console. So I, I played it downscaled from 4K and it looked pretty good. So, yeah. Avivo said something in the chat that I've mentioned before uh, about GTA. Is, is He said that we might see a single player campaign included into GTA Online. Uh, mm. But I've, I've always I've said for quite a while now that I think the next GTA installment is going to have single player and, and online be always online yeah, yeah like a all, it, it's it, it's indistinguishable online from single player but there's a significant single player story driven aspect that you can do on your own with your online character maybe and you know um but maybe the success of red dead will determine if that is going to be the case or whether it will go back to the more the more mm-hmm. story driven aspects that we used to who knows but we'll yes. see. I'm Who not knows? too familiar with the game. I don't know how it plays, but like which game? Destiny. Destiny. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Is that kind of how that works? Like you have. It is right. Storyline, yeah, well, and you get to no, go. Explore no, I think I think it's more the story missions are more of like a party driven thing, like you do okay. them with your party. Um, I don't. Yeah, think I think. Same. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's still an, an online, always online sort of thing that you're doing with people, and I then there's the story-driven aspect to that as well. That might be the way for the, the GTA goes in, in the next installment, but mm. it would have to have the ability to do it on your own. You, they, they can't yeah. get away from the, the, the huge amounts of people who buy GTA for the story, no matter how profitable the online bit has been. 
those sales of GTA 5 were astronomical when it first came out, and that was just for the story. So, yeah. and the world that they created. So that's we we can be hopeful. Let's be hopeful that Red Dead Redemption Two is good, and and that leads into all the other stuff as well. And go play Red Dead Redemption. Go do I it. I will bro. before yeah. before it. spring twenty eighteen and and the release of Red Dead Redemption <laughs> Two. I will have played the original game. You should uh, you should one hundred percent it if you can find the time. It doesn't. I did it in a week. It doesn't yeah. take that. It's not that bad. Like there's nothing really challenging to do yeah. other than maybe like killing a cougar with a melee yeah. knife like, there's some maybe, te- tedious things but you know. yeah like yeah. you gotta go pick flowers and stuff but it doesn't take that long don't think that will happen people will get to develop their characters through single player so that's lost revenue for microtransactions ah but that's the thing there is no single player it's all in the same world so your microtransactions that you get for your online aspects also helping single player as well yeah who knows um all right so that was that was that was fun talking about uh red dead redemption for so long i'm i'm, I'm i'll give it a go we'll see what yeah. it's like you did Highly you did an entire it. week of streams and didn't play red dead once How? i didn't <laughs> that that was going to be the next topic the week of streaming that i did and, and that is true i didn't play red dead but i mean it was difficult to to really do anything story driven during that week. I had so many yeah. different aspects and different things that I wanted to do, and it was fun. It was a, it was fun streaming ten days in a row. I'm gonna say. Yeah. How how, uh, how, how often do you stream, Nos? Um, I stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday <laughs> from six p.m. to nine p.m. Uh, UTC. And you can come watch me Monday and Tuesday. <laughs> I do GTA on Thursday. I do other things. Um, but anyway, I stream three days a week. Um, okay. I but thought I've you done, streamed I've... more, actually. Uh, no. But well, you've... I do do I do like do... some off schedule stuff sometimes. Does the Sunday but... MCEC commentary? Yeah, mm-hmm. lately I've been doing Saturday and Sundays for MCEC. Okay. Um, but but I have done the longest I've done uh, the Red Dead Redemption week was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Sunday, and each day was a, except Sunday was about six hours or so. Um, so that's been the longest uh, stretch of streams that I've done, uh, okay. and the most that I've ever streamed at once. So and I also did the week of streaming a year ago when I got the uh, my first PC mm-hmm. to play games on and that was five days six hours each day yeah. so uh you you did four right i think four hours a day i the... did four hours a day for nine days in a row and then yeah, the 10th day 22 right was the 13 hour 22 minute i enjoyed it a lot i enjoyed it more than i thought i would i enjoyed the little bit that i got to watch for sure i, I, I didn't, didn't get to watch yeah. much of it but i think the thing that i enjoyed the most was streaming at different times and having a bit more freedom to do stuff because you get into a rut of doing the same sort of thing all the time the content creator stuff the gta stuff the the, the you know if, if you get into a routine of always doing the same stuff on streams and that's never been what streams have all been about for me personally i've always wanted to don't get, it up. Don't get too used to the whole freedom thing that's for me and nas to share you don't you don't get your in communist England. We there. have uh, England is not coming. <laughs> Europe uh, is yeah, free. Whatever, man. <sighs> Bloody hippies. Um. <laughs> so, you know, I, 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 I think it's something that I would like to keep doing. To be honest, more, more streams, more different types of things in streams exploring more stuff it's difficult though i've never been able to find that balance between youtube and and streaming it's so i'll well, see tough. see the balance i'm going to show you the balance okay right now you got them about here youtube needs to go about right down here <laughs> and you need to put twitch about right up there that's what that's what your balance needs to be <laughs> you, will, you will achieve extreme balance if you were to do this but the thing is, I like both of them. I like streaming. I like the fun that we have on streams. And I also like making the videos. <laughs> so I can't win. I don't have enough time to do everything. That's why you just drop YouTube and completely. Yeah. No one, YouTube, mm-hmm. look, you can't even run ads on a testing video anymore, all right? Because it's too mature. So just, <laughs> just leave that platform and 
rid yourself of it. I <laughs> I hate YouTube. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, the the it is ridiculous the um the but demonetization the that's going on and all that kind of stuff. But we it's... won't we won't get on a rant of that. It's yeah, just... that's uh, back the to CEO the CEO. Did just start a <laughs> YouTube channel, didn't she? Didn't she start a vlogging channel or something like that? Who did? The the CEO of YouTube. Well, she I did. hope her videos get demonetized. I know. Yeah, that would be <laughs> that would be hilarious. The uh, oh, like dislike ratio um, is not great. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned earlier, the reason that we're not uh, having the podcast for another three weeks is because IDT is working, and then there's going to be another three weeks after that because I'm coming back from America uh, Wednesday, two days after this video goes up on YouTube. I'm going to be flying out to. To your neck of the woods. Are you gonna are you gonna be there to meet me at the airport or anything? Which neck of the woods? What? Who are you talking about? Who are you talking to? What's going okay, on? Both so, of you. Here's, America's here's small, right? Have... America's just this <laughs> country that you can go get to America's... easily. Yeah, come play come play American Truck Sim with us, we'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Take you ten hours to end truck sim to get from one side of California <laughs> to the other. So yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, you're coming not. to TwitchCon, right? Both of you. No. Do you have five thousand to ten thousand dollars to put into my bank account? Yes. It's uh, okay. I feel like I'm you're coming. a little overestimating that a little. No, I think look, he's also. I, I, I agree with trip, that. If I'm going to take a trip the, over the numbers there, just yeah. so he can have a no, little bit extra listen, in his back pocket. Yeah, I think that's to... exactly what's happening. I am not going to be in some shit motel eating McDonald's every day. All right. If I'm going to go to California, I want some money to do some things. So I'll stay up in Hilton. Yeah, Presidential exactly. suite. Filet <laughs> mignon. Exactly. That, that'd be the only way I could. Or you no could, way that I'm, you going, could I'm taking a California trip on a budget. Or you could do it on a budget and just enjoy the experience of going to TwitchCon and meeting some fun people and, and having some fun times. Food. That's not. That's not why you're going there. That that wouldn't be the reason. I don't want to see any of these people. Like, no. They just ask for the hat in real life, and I won't the have it. The only reason I would go to California is to propose to Jennifer Lawrence because we're gonna get married and have children. So that's. <laughs> well, you not like California. <laughs> California. Or, or do you just not want to go that far? Bunch of bunch of liberal hippies out there. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's why I want to go. I want to. Uh, you want to experience uh, the exact opposite of what you experience on a day-to-day basis. Yeah, business. I want to get out of the southern conservative <laughs> cesspit. Like, <totally. laughs> that's a topic for another day. Get a motorhome. You'll no, think you're home every time. There you go. Then you two rent a motorhome <laughs> and then I drive here. I already have here. a home with wheels on it. I'm not It's the, it's the weekend of the 19th, the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd of October. Just, Just do it. Just do it. Why not? No. Just you do can't it. just do a cross-country trip it's the that's... same country it's just like driving from newcastle to carlisle right from Sorry, one side no. of my dog's birthday is that too <laughs> not how it works that's like driving from like huntsville to birmingham here like in alabama no one will no one will understand that geographical reference but it's not very that. far so <sighs> disappointed I think we did this already where is it san diego where, where uh, that's long, south, beach. South. Long, oh, beach. long beach some right beach here. what it, everywhere's North a beach North. over there Northside Long Beach. It's going to be great fun. I'm looking for. It's my first time in the USA for 21 years. Wow. I, I, I was. I went over when I was six years old to Florida for Disneyland. Uh, uh. Of course. Of course. It's so, always oh, good to see. I didn't get, you got to go to Disneyland as a kid. I didn't. So. All right. Um. Should we? Should we begin? our regular segments it's just See like how... driving from ukraine to spain that's how long it, yeah that's how long of a drive it'd be okay right, that's so. that's that's a little bit more than than call out in your castle yeah a little bit before um this is how are we gonna do this how are we gonna handle the regular segments whilst also trying to figure out what we're doing for the the the, the phone bank I guess I'll go take calls at some point and like after the apple juice minute. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's do know let's do choke of the week first. Let, we'll do choke yeah, of let's, the week. Let's take it right into the choking hazard podcast, choke of the week. Um 
100 miles. For everybody in the chat who's watching live, if you do have any questions that you want to ask us, it can be about Red Dead Redemption, it can be about anything, it can be for me, it can be for these two, it can be for anybody. Yeah. Keep in mind, uh, I'm a into... wealth of knowledge. I am, <laughs> I am more reliable than the Red Dead Wiki. So if you, if you want some information <laughs> on Wiki, or on Red Dead, excuse me, you come over here. I'll give you the info and everything about that game. <laughs> Not difficult. I can give you directions. You need to get from Thieves Landing to El Presidio. I get you there fastest way. All right, I, I know everything. Um, you can get on Discord in the phone bank chat, and Nos will pop in at some point to sort it all out. I don't know how that's yeah. going to actually work out, but it, it'll yeah, be fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Um, all right, have you got guys got the the chokes ready to go? I'm I'm ready to go. Sure. Uh, that's the voice of a man who does not have anything ready to go. <laughs> I'll pretend like I'm watching them. <laughs> um, mm, it's a good right. joke, yeah. Well, oh, they, oh, we haven't started oh, yet. There you go. <laughs> all right, I'm going to start it now. Oh, oh I got potato. What so this do? one has my voice in the, the background because I believe he's watching, listening to my stream the at the time. So. The 13 hour, 22 well, minute stream. The 100k or the 500k. And that's, it. he's gone. Wagner has taken he's, oh, he's gone. Man, he's, he went over I would figure day. that all the downforce that thing has now would have kept it on the ground, but I guess not. <laughs> no, he, he, he must have been, he must have been distracted by the stream, maybe. He, that why, didn't go well. Why would he ever get distracted? Yeah, why would he ever, that, that is a fair point. That is a fair point. Um, yeah. Some say don't that if you turn me. the Wagner upside down, it will actually me. fly. That's how much it's downforce not, it's it has. Not I like at the end of it, it's got my voice clip of don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, C. Wilson for the classic. second one. The yeah, start so of a race. Uh, Good start. Gonna, yep, oh, pretty, bad start. Oh, oh, no, That's a bad, very bad start. Good from my memory. Nice curb boost there. That's what you got. What you deserve. That's, yeah, that, that was one hell of a curb boost. Yeah. That that went from a good start to a, a very, very, very bad one. Yep. Yeah, no. Oh, we have the elegy. Elegy. Yeah. You don't see Everyone these very knows. often anymore. Best car in the game. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, oh no. no. The elegy. I mean, the, the, the finish line's top. right there. He's still gonna. Oh no. But, oh. Uh, uh, oh, oh right no. at the end. Uh, right oh. at the end. Yeah. <laughs> what a show. Um, that's, that's a rough uh, one. That's hard to watch. Uh, there, there's the there's the poll for anybody who wants Ooh, to vote. If you're in the chat, vote for your favorite. That that uh, I kind of feel like I would normally say that he deserved that last one for using an energy, but the person no. who beat him to the line was also in an energy, so. It's Look, kind he was of neutralized. Using an on a city track, all right? It evens out. Yeah, that's fair, actually. That's fair. It evens out. It's fine. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you those who are in the chat, vote for your your yeah. uh, choke vote. of the week. And we'll see. Have you guys got a favorite Ooh. at the moment? We do, but we're not going to say because we don't want to influence the vote, as always. I think I, think I have my favorite. It's I do too. But um, we do have an honorary mention as well. I'm going to play this one. Oh, yeah, this is pretty good. You'll be seeing some of this uh, after the podcast, well, if you choose so. Amer Sarch here. Sarch has I've been a guest on, our, on episode three of our podcast. He's uh, looking for his wipers in American Truck Simulator. No, that's information. <laughs> yeah, so he's going 75 <laughs> down a California back road, and he can't find his wipers, and now he's... He has experienced a head-on collision. <laughs> that didn't go well. Like, like that did not, I like the music that he was playing, though. Yeah, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Yeah. yeah, that did not go well for such. No, it did not. <laughs> the realizations. I, I didn't I didn't see that coming as well when I was watching it the first time. I was like, how is this going to be a joke? And then it was just... Oh, I, I saw it coming. I saw it coming from a mile away. I've <laughs> See, 34% damage. You had that kind of collision in one year... Uh, I'm not gonna say that word. <laughs> Little Euro truck, you'd be com completely collapsed. All right. Oh yeah. Well, <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I do need to get on American Truck Simulator at some point. Give it a you give do. it a whirl. It'll be it, a good time. The Euro truck streams have been fun, so I imagine the American Truck Simulator streams will be just as fun, maybe a little bit easier because you're just driving straight all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Noss's <Nossa's> face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Woo! I'm not even <laughs> gonna dignify that with a response. All right, let's look at the results of the choke of the week. Actually, before I look at the results, which one is your favorite? Hold on, you want me? To... Oh, okay. Uh, RDT. What? What happened? <laughs> favorite choke. Favorite choke, buddy. Uh, the on. last one, without a doubt. I agree. Yeah, I was going to say that one too. Look so, at that unanimous decision. Unanimous. Normally, when we are unanimous, the the chat says the same. Let's see. Um, yep, the allergy got the win. Fifty six percent of the vote, so not We're a landslide. Their, see, you, oh, you yeah, can't you cannot fill in for hammer at all. You're terrible. You should have told us third place first. Okay, third th place was the choke number one with ten percent. Listening to my stream at the same time. That was during my stream, mm -hmm. supposedly, as well. As I'm sure they had an influence on the vote. Uh, probably. And then C. Wilson <laughs> was in second with 34% of the vote. And then the winner was the Elegy, Sammy93, uh, with 56% of the vote. Congratulations. That is the Choking Hazard podcast choke of the three weeks. <laughs> well done. Choke, choke of the month. month. Choke, <laughs> of, the choke month. of the month. <laughs> That was horrible. And, and soon it'll terribly... be choke of the choke of the quarter, and then yeah. choke of the year, Jesus. and then there won't be any more choke because <laughs> we're all busy. Choke of the decade. <laughs> <laughs> the podcast will become a rare thing that happens once in a blue moon. It was like like it was originally. When it was the, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, like the the what are you doing podcast. Um, all right, R racing corner. Let's get racing corner over with. Okay. Right. Nos, do you want to go watch that? Whilst well, me and RDT talk sure. about it, because it's kind sure. of vital to to have seen what happened at the start of the last. Ah, it's race. only one minute. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. It wasn't even that long, and he couldn't even watch it. What did you make of it, RDT? That start collision. Um, <laughs> oh, I saw someone post it in the Bruffy memes. <laughs> that's exactly Bruffy. What, Ron? The Bruffy <laughs> memes, uh, <clears throat> in Discord, and they said, "Oh, his own teammate." That was <laughs> yeah. ridiculous, and Vettel was Vettel got spun around, right? Yeah, uh, um, he he actually spun around on his own fluid after well, that yeah. crash had happened. He, he yeah, that, but... and then but towards the end of that video, when <laughs> when he's Whoa. facing all of the other cars <laughs> coming at him, that must have been the scariest moment. I know, ever. yeah, like, really. I'm right, can, right, I know, he was just rolling backwards because he knew that was the best way to. Even though he's going backwards at a slow speed, he's still at least moving away from people. <laughs> so it's, it's the best thing oh to do. God. But yeah, that would have been pretty. That was pretty some scary. great reaction I'm watching here by Vettel, though. He spun that thing around and and looks like a NASCAR it. race. Yeah, that was that's a mess. Lots of yeah. lots of car parts going on there. I'm it surprised was, um, Verstappen didn't just curse up a storm. He was just like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and then got hit again. The, 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 like, Alonso <laughs> was the, the biggest loser in that, going right around the outside. He got up into yeah, third place right. in his his poor little McLaren Honda and then just uh, an innocent bystander. But it, it was just one of those racing incidents that you get at the start of a race. But it was pretty spectacular considering it was, I mean, Vettel had it all to lose there he was on pole position hamilton was five places back it was prime target to be able to take back the championship lead and extend a big lead and it turned out that he lost 25 points in the championship because of that silly mistake it uh it was a big talking point but in the end it did turn out to be a racing incident nobody was actually punished for it but i would say mm. that veto came off worst for that and it was probably more his his fault but yeah what are you gonna do it's like if someone's tire blew out and caused a crash yeah that's it's not true. like it, it, it is just a racing incident at that point yeah yeah um we've got the we've got the um the malaysian grand prix this weekend by the time this goes up on youtube it'll be all over and done with but um from the looks of it ferrari seem to be doing well there again after the practices and mercedes struggling a bit Exactly the same as what happened in Singapore. So maybe how is Ricardo doing? Back. That's all I care about. How did Ricardo do? That's um, all I'm concerned with. Ricardo has been doing okay. Ricardo actually finished. He finished second, I think, in that race in in the last race in uh, Singapore. Excellent. Everybody um, crashes, and, and my man Ricardo. <laughs> I don't know how well he's result. been doing in uh, in in the latest race, but 
Yeah. You see, you, you have a favorite driver and you still don't even keep up with... It comes on at like two in the morning. All right, give me a break. <laughs> I am going to... Do you know, the, the US Grand Prix is on the same weekend as TwitchCon. The one time that I'm actually in the US, I could have gone to the Grand Prix. I'm at TwitchCon instead. I'm, I'm quite salty about it. Ah. Uh. Well, just ditch TwitchCon. It's not that important. I can't ditch yeah. TwitchCon. Sure Why you not? Can. All right, okay, that, that's that done then. And anyone who was expecting <laughs> to see me at TwitchCon, I'm not going to be there. I'm going to be at uh, tech in Texas instead. Sorry. <laughs> all right. Well, TwitchCon's like multiple days, right? You can just drive on over to Texas. Yeah, really. The and then drive on back, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just rent a bicycle and just go over to Texas. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that seems reasonable to me. It does. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm probably underestimating how big <laughs> right. America First is at this point. Is good in DNF. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, indeed. Poor Verstappen. Um, RDT, do hmm. you have do you have an apple juice minute for us? I do. Ooh. I think. Yeah. We don't we don't have any callers for the the community questions. Yeah, it seems, get in so. get in the phone. It's probably because the channels are all confusing now. But the phone yeah, bank it's somewhere yeah. down in voice chat. Hop in if you got a question. You want to know something? You want to know an opinion? You want to bring Nobody up a topic cares. to talk about? Nobody cares what we have to say about anything anymore. Nobody does. But hop in the phone <laughs> bank and we will get to you. Yeah, all right, you can ask anything and everything, as long as it's related to something. Just just do it. Please, we've got to have somebody with a question. <laughs> Please, God. Anyway, Apple Juice Minute. America. Just saying that gets my blood rushing to places that a proper gentleman shouldn't speak about in a public setting. America. It's such a great land filled with great ideas and great traditions, like taking other people's traditions and making them our own. Around this time of year, it's a great drinking season. Apple juice, of course, because we don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> yes. And uh, unfortunately, this one's not about America, but of course it is at the same time, because today I'm drinking Samuel Adams Oktoberfest. Now, it's rumored that the original recipe for this was kept in Hitler's vault. And once we destroyed that Axis regime, those American boys just ran in there and said, this is ours now, boys. And we just appropriated the Oktoberfest Mars in style. It's just American as apple pie, Chinese food, and tamales so during the season go to your local store and get some sam adams oktoberfest cheers suck one down god bless america man Woo! that was a great apple juice minute yet again thank you RGT. how are we not sponsored by a, a, an apple juice company yet i don't understand no, no clue have you reached out to any apple juice companies and showed them your works of art Nah. Nah. Okay. Nah. I got no marketable <laughs> skills. <laughs> the, I mean this I mean this is this is true. America does just take things from everybody else. And they're ours. You can't tell us that they're not. Just like Pizza? we took our we country from you. Lasagna we English. <laughs> yeah, you took your whole country from, from a different country. We we owned you, I mean You did. You owned nothing. <laughs> I mean, I personally didn't, but <laughs> um, that was the Bowski episode, Lord Moore. The uh, when I did Bud Budweiser. Oh yeah, that was when that was Ulysses Northcutt. That's when I introduced truly, Ulysses Northcutt. Ulysses Northcutt was particularly American. <laughs> I hope he re I hope he returns. I hope a. Uh... A case of natural light is acquired at some point. I'm waiting for it. It's eventually you'll run out of al apple juice. Eventually. No, I won't. <laughs> well, I thought about punishing yeah. myself for last week, but I I couldn't 
can go. <laughs> well, the route punish yourself I... for the at some point. It's got to be a surprise though. You can't like do it next week. You yeah. gotta just you gotta just drop it on me. Next week. <laughs> gonna work for weeks on well, it. I'm, no, I'm very... we have a next episode. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be in the US for probably the next biggest holiday that you guys have over there, which is Halloween, right? That's a pretty big thing for you guys. Uh, well, as a kid, it's a big thing for children to get candy. As an adult, it's a big thing for children to get ex- or, no wait hold up back up not wait, whoa, whoa. <laughs> adults <laughs> to get extremely drunk i think that's the entire point of halloween okay, it's either yeah. candy or alcohol depending on your age i mean it, so. it, it always it to, to me like from outside looking and we celebrate halloween over here but it's nowhere near as as seemingly big in yeah we in go the UK as it anything is that has US. to do with eating sugary substances and gaining massive amounts of weight yeah, is inherently yeah, big, fan, big fans of that. That's <laughs> our favorite thing. Um, Dude, I would know. fill. I would just go until my feet hurt, just filling up pillow <laughs> pillow cases with candy and just eating until I threw up. Is, is there anything? Three, have three costumes so you can go. You go to each house like four go times. Go to the rich people's houses that give yeah. out king size candy bar. <laughs> oh yeah. Is there anything I need to be prepared for for, the, for Halloween in America? That I may not be prepared for. Get a is costume. It like a costume. I don't dress up. Are in you costumes. and uh, you and Xerxes going to do some kind of theme? Because that... I I don't even know what we're doing. Yeah, I ask her. What... She's starting cosplay now. She can help you out. Yeah, maybe. I mean, hey, you got that N seven jacket, right? You just just dress up as Shepard. You're Shepard now. There you go. I can costume dress up quiet. as Commander Shepard. That's a great. Yeah. Adi T's face go. doesn't look too. Uh... Just because I know a lot of. What Mass Effect happens in Mass Effect with Commander Shepard? <laughs> yeah, and banging Maddie. aliens and saving the universe. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the demon. There goes the the monetization on this episode. Like we, bang, banging can mean through. anything. <laughs> can be any anything. You can't prove it's you know, gang thing. gang shooting banging. Yeah. It looks yeah, like we we've got uh, a caller in the phone. Bank. A caller. Let's go deal with him here. Yeah. So. You know what? Why don't we just bring him in without just asking? Just get him. Bring him in. We, yeah. we don't need to screen him or anything. Oh God, it can be who is yeah, it? no screening. It could Trumpet be master. Oh, he, that's a, he's a racist one out there. <laughs> Better not. <laughs> Hello, caller on the Choking Hazard podcast. Who's your question for? And what's your question? I guess this is for all of you guys, but I'm not so sure yeah. how much RDT and Nos have heard much about this. But um, <laughs> what are you guys' opinions on? The uh, McLaren, Renault, Honda, and Toro Rosso deal going. Mm. No idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I like how very well done being prepared. I mean, we, we just threw him in there, just straight in there, and he was ready with the question straight off. Yeah, oh, he's that's good. Good. he's that's on another question. level. You need to come oh, back. Okay. You need to. Yeah, you um, definitely need to call back. Anyway, so you guys don't know anything that he's talking about. You have no it's idea. like Red Bull. Red Bull's like moving to a different engine, right, or something. All right. That- so or McLaren have been different? with Honda for the last three years, and they've had oh, okay. terrible performance. Honda have been awful um, in their return with the engines. So McLaren are ditching Honda and instead going to Renault engines. But Honda don't want to leave the sport, so for that deal to actually work, they, they worked out a deal where Toro Rosso, which is like Red Bull's sister team, would take the Honda engine and become the Honda Works team, and McLaren would take the Renault engine that Toro Rosso used to have. But <laughs> Renault have also said that they won't be uh, giving engines to Red Bull from 2018 onwards either. So Red Bull, no, th- no they're going to give them for 2018, but not beyond 2018. So Red Bull are going to be in a little bit of a bind at the end of 2018 because they're not going to have an engine. They're going to have to go for Honda, and Honda's basically got a year to sort themselves out but they are doing that with Toro Rosso hopefully and it's all within the same team I guess you could say and McLaren are hopefully going to be more competitive with a Renault engine but to me I think it's just all a big mess to be honest it's just ridiculous I don't explain to me how Toro Rosso benefits from taking the Honda engine why would they agree to do that the the idea is that Red Bull because Toro Rosso and Red Bull are pretty much the same team but they're two separate entities, but Toro Rosso is just Italian for Red Bull. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're sister teams. Um, yeah. So 
their, their plan it seems like their plan is because they know they're not getting Renaults from 2018 from 2019 onwards is to allow Honda to develop their engine using Toro Rosso and maybe some Red Bull involvement as well so that by the time that Red Bull switch to Honda they have a proper working engine that's competitive and it's always better to have a works team with an engine than it is to just be a customer so McLaren are now a customer of Renault the Renault team have their own engines and can build their engine specifically to their car and McLaren just have to take whatever engine Renault gives them whereas it's better to be the works team building up your own engine and that's what Red Bull are looking to do with Honda they just don't want to put Honda straight into a Red Bull so they put it in the Toro Rosso first Okay. But it's a big mess. It's ridiculous. Sounds like it. Yeah, the, 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 the thing that is the problem with all of these new engine rules is that the, the engines are so expensive to make. The Ferrari and Mercedes are... I mean, Mercedes are just the best, but Ferrari is pretty close. And then the others just aren't quite there. And they're too complicated. And they, there's no independent engine supplier which they used to be in the past with something like Cosworth where and that's what they want to try and because they're going to bring new engine rules back in for 2021 and a new they're, they're working out what that's going to be but they want to make it more cost effective so that they can have an independent engine supplier who just works on building an engine isn't affiliated to any team and then just teams can buy that engine and then at least it gives teams an option to either okay if I don't want to have a Renault we can have the customer engine, like a Cosworth engine, and there's no there's no favoritism where Renault are developing their engine specifically for their car, which may be a problem for the McLaren, say. They can just go to the customer. But it, it's just a mess. The, the whole rule since this hybrid era have come in are just ridiculous. F1's mm -hmm. been stupid. Hybrids are dumb. Can we, is we that, need is to be tense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I sure, agree sure. with that, to be honest. I know a lot of people always keep blabbering on V-turns, V-8s, it was always better, but mm -hmm. the, the the thing is, you've got Formula E now, which mm. does provide some good racing, and it, it, it's coming on leaps and bounds with the technology in Formula E, and it's all electric. That is the future. Formula 1 should stop trying to be road-relevant when it comes to the engines, because hybrids, I think electric engines are going to be more effective than hybrid engines anyway they should just ditch this hybrid engine nonsense they can still be road relevant with you know gears suspension all this kind of stuff that they always have been but just put a proper engine in it personally yeah, but thanks for the question yeah that good was question. me going on a little yeah, bit question. of a rant more than anything else call, call again. <laughs> yeah i was gonna uh, say you. remember how you were talking about your taxes earlier bruffy i probably would have been call. more interested thank in that Oh really? That we had. oh really you would have been mine <laughs> see this is the trouble i try i try my best to do the racing corner to bring some to bring some racing to the podcast and it always ends up exactly the same way with glazed looks over the faces of my co-hosts <laughs> nothing to say and i'm just rambling on on my own well maybe we should talk about nascar my tinder time right do, do you actively right. watch nascar <laughs> no i don't actually see watch. this is the thing there's not. Do you actively watch we'll any more sports? We'll talk about football and kneeling for the end. Yeah, we talk. We we talk <laughs> in kneeling for the end. Yeah. <laughs> Don't bring what, up any of that a, nonsense. What a hot topic. All those, we will be uh, demonetized for that. Sons of, uh, you know. So, yeah. I like how Razakin puts in the chat. You should talk about NASCAR, so Nas and RDT would at least know something. Oh, yeah, we don't know anything <laughs> about NASCAR. No. You you need to watch something. Some form of motorsport. Come on. Uh, watch the MCC. Uh, yeah, I'll just watch the MCC. <sighs> but I don't want. I, that's the last thing I want to talk about. So we're not <laughs> yeah. talking about that. Yeah, me either. too. <laughs> me too. Oh God, can we talk about cricket? That is that is very much the last. Yeah, that the cricket is below MCC at this point. <laughs> I like crickets. They're nice. Nice cricket depends. Not, or is not that the that sport. thing with, like the with the wooden paddle that the principal Ooh, nice. beat children with? Yeah. You know, you know this girl just moved here from Alabama. Probably. Probably Are you on Tinder like... again? What? No, no. no. <sighs> well, hold on. Read me your bio. Come on. Now. I just swiped right. I, it's too late for that. Oh, you just. <laughs> what it is didn't that say roll podcast time, turned so. into? It did. Okay. Well, good. 
this has been a significant letdown for everybody who watched the last episode and thought, oh, this is good. It's, 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 I suppose we've resumed normal service, I guess. It's got people yes. back to what they should expect. Yeah. Every once in a while, yeah. we might have a gem, like last month's now episode. Oh, we we might have another caller in the phone bank. You want to just, just do oh, just, it? Just, just, it? Just, let's just, just bring him in. Just throw him into it. If it's, if it's, Hello, it's, caller it's, on the Choking Hazard podcast. Who's your question for, and what's your question? And I hope it's not offensive, because we did not screen you. How are you? <laughs> and what's your question? <laughs> Um, well, my po- my questions to everyone, including the chat. Um, no, don't involve them. They don't get to be involved. <laughs> they don't deserve it. All yeah. right, screw you, chat. Thank you. Anyways, <laughs> besides, besides everyone in the GTA racing community and Xerxy, who are some of your favorite Twitch streamers and Ooh! YouTube content creators? I like That's this question. That's a really question. good question. Time to promote people that I don't even know. I love it. That's a good um, question. I don't I have actually, some answers. I don't actually watch Twitch on a regular basis, in all honesty. I, I'm not. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Either, but... I, I generally don't watch streams. I watch YouTube videos. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And I, well, I tell us about of, that. Like, I, okay, I guess I could. Um, Number Five is a channel that I like a lot. CGP of co- Grey. Of co- oh, my God. Of course it is. Um, numbers. The first thing is numbers. I, I swear. Uh, I <laughs> I like uh, I like trainer tips. You don't, you guys don't know. So that, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with Pokemon. that. That's the Pokemon one, right? Pokemon yes. got? Yes. Okay. Um <laughs> What else do I like? Uh I like watching Judge Judy videos. Me and Zexy both like that. <laughs> You like Judge <laughs> I love Judge Judy. Judge Judy. Judge Judy is brilliant. Oh. Um <laughs> Philip DeFranco. Ah, yeah, big fan. I have yeah, been for a long good. time. Yeah, um, yeah, he seems like pretty, pretty good. Good content. Mythical Morning as well. That's always fun. With Rhett and Link. I woke up before school the day or that we found out that Osama Bin Laden was taken out by Steel Team 6 and Phil mm-hmm. DeFranco had done a video. And I was like, America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Were you, did, it, did it hit you right in the feels? I, I, How can I, you like, not stand Judge Judy, NetRex? Back up. I got pumped Judge up. Judy tells you what's going on. That's her courtroom. All yeah. right, she will hold you in contempt. Don't you tempt her? <laughs> All right, yeah, she, she's more of a man than you will ever be. Let me. Tell you. <laughs> um, um, I guess for me, uh, as far wait, as Twitch, I, I, I've got two more. I've got two more. Are you All kidding right, me? You, no, is, I'm not kidding. This, like, I've got Twitch two more. Channel, I mean, they're important. What, what is this your podcast or something? <laughs> what, what, do you, what do you think this is? Your channel? <laughs> wait, 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 who are you, Brophy1322? What do you got? What, 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 like 140,000 subscribers on YouTube? <laughs> what, 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 like 500 subs on Twitch? What, 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 what are you doing with your life? Come on. <laughs> uh, Netrex said Jenna Marbles is good, and I don't personally watch her, but Zexy likes her. She is pretty funny. Um, but. Yeah. I've only um, seen her on like other podcasts and stuff, and she seems entertaining. Yeah, um, but I like Ashens. He's really good, and Jim Sterling. He's one of my favorites. I would say, with the yeah. Inquisition, good stuff. Yeah, really, really good content over there. Yeah. From, so I'm, I'm more Sterling, into the YouTube videos than the Twitch streams myself, from a from watching perspective. Anyway, carry RD, on. RDT. Uh, I agree on the Philip DeFranco. I was a big. I've been a big fan of his for a while. Um, I just got onto the game ranks. Uh, kick. I don't know if you guys are familiar with game ranks. I'm it, not. Tell us about it. I, I like their content. It, it's for simpletons. They have like oh top ten things, and it's like ah, big fan. But it's not like a watch mojo that's trash. But uh, <clears throat> as far as Twitch, there was this guy that I used to follow when Vine was still around. Uh, you know, R.I.P. Vine. Um, <laughs> his name is Michael Lopriori. He does a lot of PUBG, and I just think he's hilarious. And so that's one of the few people that I... And I'll watch Boski from time to time. Yeah, he, he, I, I would probably tune into his streams more if the time zones worked out, but he always starts streaming when I'm going to bed. So Yeah, he's a quality streamer. He, yeah. He's... He is born to be an entertainer for sure. Um, for my answers, I will uh, I'll keep it not with um, like people that I've played with personally. So like not Bo or Shroud or Summit or 
or any of those. I'll keep it to people that I don't know. Um, one of my favorite uh, content creators, and never spoken to him. I think I've chatted in his chat once. Yeah, I just lurk. Um, I, I've watched his videos on YouTube and his stream since 2011, maybe. It was a long, long time ago. But uh, it's a channel by the name of uh, All Sham No Wow. And he is by far... That, that's his, it's great. It's a great name, right? Yeah. But um, but that that's his name, and he is just such an excellent content creator, and I love everything his he does. His his attitude when he uh, and no one knows who I'm talking about, so I don't this know. is completely irrelevant. But um, the what his attitude when it comes to games and how he can just take the shittiest, te most terrible garbage trash tier game and make it the most entertaining thing you've ever watched it it's an art form the way that he makes his content and i absolutely love his stuff oh, he yeah i got a bunch he more is, <laughs> he is excellent so uh, i would definitely recommend that you you give him a him a look um like before he used to be a part of machinima and played with like uh sea nanners and and captain sparkles and uh, for a bit there mm -hmm. and he doesn't play with those guys anymore because they just kind of do minecraft and stuff from what i know mm -hmm. um yes and all sham the saw let's play on his channel if you watch one thing by all sham no wow go watch his playthrough of the saw video game <laughs> it is the highest piece of content on youtube i've ever watched really? it, yes it is so good it, the in the way that he does his let's plays are just Excellent. Um, okay. And you know what? He's the only one I'm going to talk about. He's the only one that de deserves to be talked about. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, that's high I, I jump back in. Yeah, yeah he is. He is was... number number one in, in my book. Number one. A bit of an echo. If I was to... Yeah, hold on. I'll fix that. <clears throat> Go on. Go ahead. So if I was to suggest three of my favorite... Right now, three of my favorite YouTubers... Obviously, other than Bruffy and myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> one would be a channel called uh, Fanboy Flicks. They do, he does, this guy Mark does bad movie reviews and they are hilarious. He breaks them down perfectly. Depending on your politics, even though it's not a political channel, he does a lot of breakdowns, long breakdowns on different things. Uh, H Bomber Guy, he's, he's a fabulous. Uh, kind of video essay kind of youtuber great for background if you're playing a game that you're kind of just you know trying to grind maybe you're just trying you to have some gta jump. or something yeah exactly he does great breakdowns like why the show sherlock is garbage and you're like oh what is this clickbait and then at the end you're like wow <laughs> sherlock is terrible <laughs> <laughs> um and then three he hasn't made a video in like four years but all of his videos are gold guy named fitz thistlewitz and He's just so funny. He does just kind of parody Let's Plays. It's fantastic. Okay. So those are my three, top three YouTubers. Good, Good times. Uh, there was one per that I forgot to mention, which is um, Boogie2988. I like great his guy. videos too. Yeah, he's, he's yeah, a Boogie's guy. Great. Boogie is a great guy. Yeah. I, I he's just, a YouTube staple. Yeah. Yes. I don't know. I mean, I'm not... Uh, uh, this is probably controversial, but I'm not a big fan of... of francis the character yeah. I, I just i don't know yeah, it, I, I like some of them some of them make me laugh but i prefer his himself but Bo boogie yeah boogie yeah. is a is just a genuine great human being and i really like yeah. him and it, from what i can tell and it just yeah and same same kind of vein of youtube staples uh h3h3 productions is definitely one to uh yeah more the watch. new school but yeah still yeah. I see. I, I haven't watched much H three H three. I've watched some of them. You know when they've had like uh, controversial stuff. Like I watched the the. You know, I kept up to date a little bit with what there was going on with them being sued and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and they seem like good people. Nonsense. I would probably enjoy some of their stuff. I just haven't really watched. Their podcast is really good. Yeah. But we could we could only pray that we're <laughs> that a quarter as good as they are. <laughs> they've they got a studio. They pretty much perfectly copied joe rogan's setup yeah for their podcast so okay um so yeah i think my top three would be boogie uh trainer tips and probably jim sterling number one i think 
but those would be my top three. Uh, yeah, some there are some there are a lot of good content creators out there. There's a lot of bad ones, but there's a lot of good ones as well. And this yeah. is how oh, don't forget about Leafy God, YouTube God man. Leafy is here. <laughs> Yeah, I love that guy. Um, oh, and I will mention one more person because, and I will do this uh, to reciprocate for Bruff, uh, since Bruff doesn't even watch his content. Loser, uh, Joshi Moose, Joshi Moose over on YouTube doing his uh, 100% plus playthrough of GTA San Andreas has been some of the most entertaining content I've watched recently. I mean, I'll shame no while be, you know, that because I've watched him for so long, but I've recently gotten into Joshi's content and it's absolutely excellent. You learn so much about the game because he's a Joshi moves. If you don't know, is a he is a speed runner and he uh, he does a lot of GTA San Andreas. And what you the kind of content you get from his 100 percent playthrough is the knowledge and the experience and just everything that comes from a speed run but not in a speedrun format, which makes it super, super interesting uh, to watch and learn more about the game. So if, if I had to, I'll recommend you two people. I'll Sham No Wow and Joshi Moose. I need to and check I, him I, out. Honestly, yes, this, could, this could probably be an episode in itself. There are just yeah. so many, like, it's yeah. like the nostalgia episode where people were putting games in the, con, in the, in the chat. And I'm just like, oh, Xbox Ahoy. Well, I guess he's Ahoy now. He makes great content. It's like... We yeah, can make so an entire, so the best people, and the worst yeah. of YouTube. We could just do that. Maybe we, thing maybe we could. Maybe that could a be a couple a, of them on. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we can. I know for a fact, if we wanted to, I bet we could get Joshi moves on. I've been in private. I will release this information. I've been trying to get Bruff to like contact him for probably three months, <laughs> and it has not. It's happened. become a meme now. Yeah. yeah it's like, hey, it, yeah. It would be, it hey, would be such. Uh, such <laughs> it's like a good that episode guess. of. That famous episode, you know, little known show, Family Guy. I don't know if you ever heard of it. When uh, Stewie's like, hey, uh, you got my money? He's like, oh, I'll have my next Friday. He's like, Nas is like, hey, <laughs> you uh, talk to Joshi Moose? <laughs> ah, yeah, I'll talk to him. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it, do it next time. Yeah. Could have sworn I said to talk to him by today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of exactly how it's been. <laughs> Oh man, Benji thank you for the, like, uh, the question. That was a good question. That might yeah, spawn a, good... a, a topic of the podcast at some point. Yeah, definitely. that was a great question. We could, thank you, We could definitely talk about that. Um, I think that's about it. Are we wrapping yeah, it I up? Yeah, I think that's yeah. about it. So, what would the title be for this one? I need something more clickbaity to bring people in, like the last one. We did. Uh, I, I, you got to say, I did well, Red, right? Red Redemption Two, yeah, live up to the hype. New that's insight. There you go. Yeah. New insight. Fresh insight into Red Dead 2. Yeah, yeah, new information. Brand new information, all in caps. Brand yeah, new. brand new. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, I, it, I, I, even though that it's been three weeks since the last episode and it's going to be three weeks for the next one and then it's going to be a following three weeks for the next one, I, I still enjoy these. I, you know, I, even if they got 1,000 views or 500 views, 100 views, I'd still want to do them because I just enjoy doing them. That's that's how I've always done YouTube. So let's uh, let's keep yeah, doing it. Yeah, I mean, it. you were you were putting out nonsense before anybody cared. That's exactly right. You're like nobody cared who I was before GTA Online came out, and then you're like, no. That's a lie. You had like three fans for Gears of War. Didn't you? Yeah, yeah, maybe like <laughs> two or three, max, if that. <laughs> Yeah, I say I, I say best best title for this one is uh, Red Dead Redemption Two. Will it live up to the hype or something like that? Like that's yeah, that's a quality. That, that, that's that, that. I mean, that's on topic as well. It's, yeah, uh... I mean that was the first forty five minutes of the show. So I made and, it. Uh... I made it before the end of the podcast. Oh, good job, Ebby Hammer. So he's he, you, right. you have yeah, featured in a podcast. You, you haven't missed Finish one it. yet, technically. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Dedication. Just as we're about to finish. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right, guys. You want to say goodbye? All right. See you in three goodbye. weeks. <laughs> see you yeah, later, see guys. You. See ya.